I just want to say thank you for all 23 of you subscribing to my channel, watching all this awesome content. Mic check one, two. Mic check one, two. Boom! Hey everyone, Mo here. Today we're making tuna sandwiches. Not that boring stuff, it's just a bunch of mayonnaise and tuna. Ugh. Well, it's pretty good. We're gonna do something a little bit better, like this. That looks a bit different, doesn't it? Yeah. Alright, let's get started. Let's start with the classic tuna. A lot of mayonnaise and some white bread. This is more mayonnaise than I should use. No one would put this much, but this is just for fun. Now I'm gonna spread it on ever so slightly. Make the best tuna sandwich in the world for lunch. So nice. Make sure you get all the corners. Once you're done, cut it in half, get that awesome cross sandwich, and you got a tuna sandwich extraordinaire. Okay, so more or less that was a joke video. By the way, that was actually really good. I actually did enjoy it, but I'm gonna show you how to make a tuna sandwich better. This is gonna be a tuna sandwich extreme. Okay, here's an example of what I use for my tuna sandwiches. This makes it tastier, a lot healthier. Let's be real, the other tuna sandwich is just white bread with mayonnaise, not very nutrition dense. Choose better bread, bell peppers, tomatoes, cabbage, lettuce, olive oil, mayonnaise, horseradish. Absolutely no horses were harmed in making this horseradish. So everybody just chillax, it's all good. Dijon mustard, black pepper, chili flakes. I'm a little low on tuna. Maybe I should just take some from my cat. I wonder if he'll notice. Well, whenever I make tuna, I always make sure I give him some. He'll notice, believe me, he can smell this. Okay, I love adding color. We're gonna chop all of our bell peppers nice and small. Okay, next up, we're gonna do a tomato cabbage and lettuce take your time here don't go chopping crazy fast remember i'm speeding the clip up take your time don't hurt yourself okay final part assembly get all your ingredients mix them together really well and that's pretty much it now i'll be honest i do love just mayonnaise tuna and bread it tastes really really good but it's not very nutrition dense and trust me that matters add some color add some textures add some flavors you will love this now once you're done try to figure out if you want to add more mayonnaise more olive oil or more spice or more something this is going to be very custom towards your amounts I can't stress enough, choose better bread, it's healthier. It's a little bit more expensive, but like $2 more, if that. So I'm going to build two of these normally, sandwich, filling, and that's it. Now these next two are going to be a little bit different. Here's my secret ingredient with one of them, barbecue chips. Just crush them up, put them inside, it's going to be really good. Other ones, you can just do some lettuce, tomato, maybe some bacon, whatever. Have fun with this. I hope you'll give my recipe a try and visit my website for the full list of ingredients.